All right, we are going to be debuting Corey Seager out of the chase pack. We just bought him for about 170,000 stubs. We're going to have him play second base. He's out of position. He doesn't have any secondaries, but he looks fine at second base. The only concerning thing is that speed with 56 speed. He'd probably be better off at third base, but uh, we want to keep Craig Biggio on left. So got Chipper at third. Otherwise, I would put Chipper on left and maybe Corey Seager at third base. Jacob. Oh, this guy's kind of glitchy. Who do you guys think's the best, like, post grunge 90s band? Like, not. Two balls. Not like the Nirvana Pearl Jam. Like, right after, like, after Kirk Cobain died, who do you think's the best, like, 90s rock or alt rock band? Good swing, Jimmy. I would put Matchbox 20 up there. Yeah, I got the Hyper, um, HyperX Quadcast S. It's really good. Make sure you uh, watch a video on YouTube. I did not swing at that shit. That's a good pitch. Don't swing at that shit. Third Eye Blind, for sure Third Eye Blind. Smash Mouth, yeah. They're still like pretty decent though. Tom Petty. I had a wood shop teacher in freshman year of high school who would just play like Tom Petty's greatest hits every other day. And no one really got tired of it, so he just kept doing that. Um, but that's how I kind of got hooked on Tom Petty at an early age. So we just, oh, that's a pop-up home run. But um, we, they would just rip CDs and that was like somewhat appropriate for a 70 year old. If you didn't really, you couldn't really pay attention to lyrics when you're listening to music that young. But when I was like, um, I was thinking about it too, like looking back, I look, not terrible, but you listen to the lyrics of some of those songs and they're singing about their buddies like dying of overdoses or like making tribute songs. And I'm just like a 13 year old kid listening to the lyrics or not listening to the lyrics, kind of just listening to the music as it is. And um, like not realizing the, the deepness of it or whatever and then i come back when i'm like 18 19 and really listen to lyrics i'm like damn some of this shit's like really depressing <laughs> envelop that type of mindset somehow all right one's not bad good rip is that gonna be a hit nah i don't why do people do the shift man uh, i think people who have the shift on are just too lazy to take it off who was it lane staley of it's a good swing man it's cool because she hasn't listened to a lot of that music. Can we please? All right, there we go. So it's cool seeing her like listen to all that music for the first time and watch her reaction to it. I. Hey. Me too. I didn't get the event done, but I'm done Team Affinity. Nike, I already did the conquest map. I made a. I have a video. I had to edit that video and publish it. it. Took me seven hours. He looks solid. Three. All right, come on, let's score some room. I can see him well. It's just like anything I square up is an out. That that should have been waited oh. on. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Thought I was a fastball. I would have been late, so I gotta. I gotta speed it up a little if it's a fastball. Groovy with a tank, though. Oh, back to back pitches. Take like two of those. See, I figured he, now that he got beat by the cutter, he was gonna come back with a fastball. That might be 5 0 3. Damn! Alright, that's, that's probably the furthest recorded home run I've hit, I think. Good hit. Get down. Nike, have you ever done a conquest? Seeger gets his first hit in his second at bat. He had a great rip in his first at bat. We might be out of third. No, we're good. Uh, but he got kind of robbed, so that makes up for it. Corey Seeger, confirmed good, good player. Good fucking pitch. Or all the time. Good swing. Oh, thank God. Thank God my shortest outfielder still made the catch. So here's every time they come out with content, I'm like, I'm gonna get bored of this. 
they drop a Lou Gehrig card that's just one of the most insane cards I've ever seen. I'm like, well, I gotta keep playing until I get that card. Nope. Right, okay. obviously. And then I gotta use it. And then by the time I'm done using it, they come out with another card similar to oh, it. And then out. I'm like, well, fuck, they got me by the balls. Lou Gehrig, that's first, four, four. first pick Take out of that pack, man. No! You have 99 bunt! Why does that happen to a 99 bunt guy on a fastball down the middle? The easiest pitch to bunt. It wasn't like a curveball or a changeup. Oh my god, he got my ass. Out. Out. Okay, terrible inning. It's crazy how you have, like a really, you have a good at bad by drawing a walk. And then you just shit the bed with a bunt and a ground ball for a double play. Regardless, but... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going, um, this motherfucker. I'm going Lou, Garrick first, Randy, and then Ricky. Three. He's been late on the fastball. I should not be, I probably should throw a fastball here. No, that's Get it. the fuck out of here. Four. You need to take that shit. BR, by picking a 99 overall pitcher. That's like rule number one of BR, don't do that, unless you're insane. Tell you what, I like, uh, Riley Green's, he's the guy. There we go. Yo, what's everyone's opinion on the uh, short next XP path? Do you miss the boss packs? Because I don't mind the shortened path. I just kind of miss the packs, though. If you can make both happen at the same time. That's gone. Out of the zone. You, you can't be good at this game if you're not a confident two-strike hitter. You gotta... Sometimes you gotta let it get to two strikes if they're pitching, like... All over the place. It's through that did not happen. <laughs> that would never happen. That was an insane super dive. There we go. Yeah, typically a fastball down the middle is not a good first pitch, but oh, dude, my do your eyes ever like do you ever just black out in the middle of a pitch? You just don't see anything. Lake. No, come on, get over his head. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll get two out of that. Uh, that was a bummer with Seager's at bat in the debut guy, but... Oh, we just missed that one. 42 launch angle. Ah, uh, man, if that's like, even like a 40, if that's like a 40 or 39 launch angle, it might sneak over. I feel like I've been saying that a lot this game, that I'm going to throw a terrible pitch and then uh, something good happens. Or at least something not bad. Two forms of positive reinforcement. Give something good or take away something bad. Season two card. Oh, so he's wildcarding Beltre. Oh, no, this is the core Beltre, isn't it? Ah... Ooh, good take. Oh, we got him. Got him on the tag. <sighs> Feels good. Hey. Is that a call trick? Oh, and one. Uh, no, but Nike, are the Sox, um, what are they? What are they up to? Are they making the playoffs or what? Ah. Damn it, that's not. Ah, oh, it's not a good swing. Don't give him that. Don't give him a one-out triple on that swing, please. All right, whatever. Come on. What do you got? Thank you. <laughs> be able to stand that one. No! <laughs> Did you see where I put that, guys? Do you think I would put an 0-2 pitch anywhere near the zone with the way this guy's swinging? Well, he's actually been taking a lot of good pitches. That is absurd. Did he go? Thank you. I think most people expect it, too. It happened again. Oh my god, dude. What? The... He's gonna have to go ahead run at the plate after the innings he had swinging. Three. <sighs> Thank god we got out of that. Alright, we need one base runner and we'll have Seeger up again. Alright. Seeger gets another chance in this. Uh... Alright, Seeger takes a walk there. Two walks in a row.
He had been throwing that fastball inside all game, and I don't blame him because I literally haven't hit it once until now. All right. GG's. Oh, I don't have that command set up. Sorry. Hold on. All right, so we only got a quick glance at Corey. I think if you used him before, you know he's got a great swing. And for a 97 overall, this plays a lot better. Uh, it will play a lot better than, uh, than it looks. All right, but 108 contact, 125 contact, 82 vision. You can definitely bring this card into legend difficulty. That game you saw there was only Hall of Fame. And um, I, think, I think it's still going to play very well. That's probably the best fielding we've seen on Corey Seager card too. 56 speed is a little low, but this card will play just fine. And with his swing, I think his swing is is money. It's a little different for a lefty, the way he's kind of like up upright. But uh, it's not really a flowy swing. He's like straight to the ball. He gets great lift on the ball too. So he, he'll be hitting home runs if you get under just even a little bit. All right. Um, yeah, I recommend it if you got the stubs. He will go down in price though. So maybe just keep a lookout for the, the price drop. He's hovering around 175 right now. Uh, I don't know though. I'm not a market master. Maybe he'll keep going up. If you want to try your hand at a chase pack, it's not a bad idea because you get the 50 bundle and you can use that 50 bundle to get the team affinity exchanges done. All right. So if you don't have these exchanges done yet and you want to get more TA progress without doing like everything else, uh, you'll get a lot of XP from just the exchanges. So the 50 bundle will give you a ton of cards you can use for that. All right. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will... See you on the next one.